and we can protect those most vulnerable around us. With easy access to vaccination locations and the growing ability for more people to be protected, it's our best shot to keep moving forward. It's our best shot for a strong, healthy community. For more information, visit MiamiDade.gov slash vaccine. lot of ways to build Good a strong morning. Home. It's Tuesday and it's 11 a.m., which means it's time for the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM, where we present live weekly performances in the WDNA Jazz Gallery and feature students, faculty, and alumni from Florida International University's Herbert and Nicole Wertheim School of Music and Performing Arts. I'm your FIU graduate student host, Josie Mendez, and along with our producer, Dr. Russ Spiegel, and our executive producer, Dr. Karen Velos, we'd like to welcome you to our show. Whether you're listening to us at home, in your car, or live on WDNA.org FIU, we are delighted to have you with us. Today we are pleased to feature Professor Avi Nagin with FIU string students Ruben Sabando, Gianluca Nagaro, Ashley Gomez, and Gaia Bush on violin, Alexandra D'Amico and Jamero McCoy on viola, viola, excuse me, and Benjamin Bush and Loretta Pozo on cello. Welcome. So what is the first piece that you'll be performing today? The first piece they're going to play today is by Dmitry Shostakovich, two pieces for string octet. It was completed when the composer was only about 19 years old, which uh, brings us back to memories of the Mendelssohn octet, which he completed when he was only 16. So this is a very youthful work, full of energy, rhythmic drive, a lot of the kind of signature anger and uh, early modernist sound that Shostakovich defined in the early part of the 20th century. So our students have worked very hard on this, and I hope you'll enjoy.
about this group? Yes, so these students here are made up of students at the School of Music where they are all enrolled in chamber music, something that is kind of our bread and butter uh, for being a string student and of course a string professional, but as a student learning how to play together in a small ensemble like this where we don't have a conductor is just so incredibly important. So these students, uh, some of them have been playing together for over a year now. Four of them started a string quartet last year. Uh, we have Gaia, Gianluca, Alex, and Loretta started playing as a string quartet last year. And then this year, they uh, continued in the fall and then came to me before the spring semester with this idea of adding on these four others and making it an octet. Um, and actually, in this particular case, the repertoire choice um, and playing together was all their idea, so I can't take full credit for this. Uh, but I thought it was an excellent idea. They wanted to put on kind of a full program of music uh, of this Shostakovich, and then what we're going to hear shortly after is the Dvorak Quintet. Um, so this was really uh, their doing to put this all together. Wow, that's great. Um, how can other FIU string students join this group? So maybe not this specific group, but playing chamber music is something that we require for all of our string majors at least, and other winds and brass, they do other similar types of small ensemble work. Uh, but again, for string players, you know, we play in orchestra a lot of the time, of course, and that's wonderful and incredibly important skill where they have a conductor, someone kind of showing them 
you know, where to play, how to play together. But in a chamber ensemble, we don't have a conductor. They have to be their own kind of leaders and conductors. And so learning how to do that in a small ensemble setting uh, enables them really to learn how to play together in any kind of setting, whether it's in a orchestra setting, chamber music, um, you know, really any grouping, starting with this smaller group where they have to actually rehearse on their own. We have weekly coachings, but it's not just that the performance is their own responsibility, but getting there is their responsibility as well. Um, and learning how to rehearse on your own and learning how to handle all the kind of difficulties that will come from that, disagreements musically and, and whatever other disagreements, but at the end of the day, they have to come together and, and make decisions collectively as a group. Um, you know, I would say a skill that goes beyond just playing music. <laughs> for students who are auditioning into FIU, what are you looking for in those string students? Hmm, that's a good question. You know, of course, we're looking for overall level of playing, ability, but more important than that, for me at least, is identifying a student who is willing to be receptive to, to criticism and changing their playing and, and working hard. A work ethic for me is far more important than any kind of absolute output of playing. You know, uh, being a music student requires an incredible level of dedication and kind of round the clock dedication to what we're doing. Seven days a week, we don't get to say, well, I finished my homework and that's it. There's never finishing the homework of, of improving on your instrument, right? And so identifying students who we think are going to be, you know, members of the community who want to work collaboratively because, of course, playing music is we spend all this time in the practice room, but at the end of the day, it's all about mus making music together in groups, whether it's small or large. So, you know, a student with a, a strong, you know, positive attitude, a strong work ethic, and someone who is interested in being a part of the community and not being, you know, just in their own practice room, practicing by themselves. Yeah. And I want to know a little bit more about you. I know you're a part of our artist and res resident group, um, the Amarne. So, what what about you and your experience at FIU? So I'm the, the newest member of the Amarnay Quartet. I've been here for about four years now. Uh, as you mentioned, the Amarnay String Quartet, we are the artist, on, uh, artist in Residence Ensemble at FIU. They've actually been there coming up on 20 years now. And as a quartet, we tour all over the country, all over the world, um, playing concerts, giving master classes at all kinds of places. Um, but our role at the university is to be the individual string faculty. So all of these students are students of one member or another of the quartet. Um, to give chambers a coaching, something that I feel is perhaps our strongest element of uh, the FIU School of Music is our chamber music program. There aren't many school of musics that have, schools of music, I should say, that have um, a full-time quartet in residence. So I think that that's kind of the thing that we bring to the table is being able to have a strong chamber music program. So as I said, I joined the, the group four years ago. And since then at the school have been teaching private students chamber music. Uh, I teach an orchestral audition repertoire class. I help out with orchestra. So, you know, dip my toes into a variety of different things at the school. That's awesome, thank you. I can't wait to hear more music, but before that, we're gonna go on a short break. So you've been listening to the FIU Music Hour at 88.9 FM with the FIU String students, and we'll be right back after these messages.
This week, the FIU School of Music will be hosting the following concerts. Tomorrow, Wednesday, Wednesday April 12th at 7.30 p.m. at the FIU Concert Hall, there will be a faculty recital from Dr. Colin Williams on percussion. Dr. Williams will guide us through an array of genres with a variety of instruments from vibraphone to rem rem ugh, excuse me, marimba with electronics. That's a tongue twister. Also, also on Wednesday, April 12, 7.30 p.m., student composed a concert at FIU Mana Wynwood, where students perform their latest creations for Miami audiences from a variety of aesthetics and performance genres. And also on Thursday, April 13th at 7.30 p.m., the FIU University Singers presents choral music outside the canon at the FIU Concert Hall, with music representing the voices of composers not often heard in the academic choral world. For these and many more exciting events, you can find information at fiu.universitytickets.com or musictics at fiu.edu. And now we're back to our show. So what's the next thing you'll be performing or they'll be performing for us? <laughs> so next we have a viola quintet, which means string quartet plus an extra viola, uh, written by Antonin Dvorak. And you know, this piece couldn't be more different from what we just heard, but surprisingly only written about 30 years prior to the Shostakovich. Uh, we're moving now into a different part of the world. Dvorak was a Czech composer. However, this piece was written while the composer spent some time in the United States, in Spillville, Iowa, actually. And he wrote a few what became very famous pieces. Um, kind of the most famous of all of his American pieces is what we know as the New World Symphony, or the Symphony from the New World, one of the most popularly played symphonies and all of the repertoire. Uh, he also then wrote a string quartet titled the American String Quartet. And this, I guess you could say, is the American quintet. <laughs> and uh, he really took in a lot of influences uh, from folk music um, and other types of things that he heard. And uh, this piece is in four movements. They're going to be playing three of them. Uh, the first movement, a fast movement, and then a slow movement, and then another fast movement. Um, so take a listen to this. You'll hear how, yes, you hear a lot of his kind of Czech influences, but there's something vaguely American about it, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's get into it.
You have been listening to the stunning FIU string students Ruben Sabando, Gianluca Negaro, Ashley Gomez, and Gaia Bush on violin, Alexandra D'Amico and Jerome McCoy on viola, and Benjamin Bush and Loretta Pozo on cello on the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM. I've been your FIU graduate student host, Josie Mendez, and along with along our producer, Dr. Russ Spiegel, and our executive producer, Dr. Karen Velos, I'd like to thank my fellow graduate student peers, V, Jerry, Paul, and Ruben, WDNA sound and tech wizard, Alex Audrich, and the staff of WDNA 88.9 FM for today's broadcast. If you'd like more information on all our programs, make sure to call 305-348-2896 or simply like our Facebook and our Instagram page to stay up to date with all our upcoming performances. Thank you so much for joining us and make sure to join the FIU Music Hour for more great music every Tuesday from 11 a.m. to noon. Thanks to our, get, to our guest again. <laughs> What's the last few pieces that you'll be performing for us or they will be performing for us? I keep on saying you and you're sitting here next to me. <laughs> Well, wow, that was just fabulous. Congratulations to you all. So we have just a couple short selections left. Um, two different movements of solo Bach, first performed here by Jerome McCoy, who's going to play, a, I believe, the prelude from the first unaccompanied Bach cello suite, often played by uh, violists as well. And then, if time permitting, uh, with time permitting, we will have Benjamin Bush, uh, play also the prelude from, I believe, the second suite. Um, so here we have two of our uh, outstanding young students here finishing us off with some wonderful, beautiful solo Bach. So thank you so much for having us for this opportunity. Um, and I think the students just did a fabulous job today. Yeah, stunning. <laughs>
we're done. Never mind. So, uh, that was absolutely perfect timing and focus on 